Okay, today I'm going to walk through the architecture of integrating semantics two-factor authentication services with Active Directory uh, Federation services. Uh, but first, before I start, let's go through a basic um, setup for Active Directory Federation services. So, um, Active Directory Federation services installs uh, out of the box on a Windows 2008 um, or a Windows 2012. On Windows 2012, it actually comes as a roll, uh, rolls features uh, add on to the uh, the basic uh, server platform. So once ADFS is installed, and a prerequisite would be IAS uh, 7 or 8 for ADFS, um, then it would need to be added to one or more relying parties. So you define a relying party uh, a rule or a trust arrangement uh, between ADFS and more relying parties. Um, you'll see here a relying party could be like uh, Salesforce, uh, Outlook Web Access, Office 365, or SharePoint. Um, the challenge with ADFS and and other identity providers is that out of the box uh, they come with username and password. So the challenge is that if you're protecting username and password for all these uh, different applications, uh, it's a security risk to, for the organization. Uh, so what Symantec brings to the table is an opportunity to strengthen the security posture for IDFS by adding a two-factor two authentication. So the way that we do that is we add an IS plugin. So this is a Symantec IIS plugin. It's a generic plugin that serves multiple uh, IIS applications. Okay, so the Semantic IIS plugin would be installed, and this plugin would allow us to communicate directly with the uh, the back end uh, Semantic authentication services to validate the second factor. So let me walk through a uh, a user flow on how an experience a user would uh, actually validate through to ADFS and to the relying party. So once the infrastructure is set up and you have ADS and the, and the relying party rules uh, defined, um, a user would log in uh, to, their, uh, to their logon uh, form, which has uh, been integrated with, uh, with the security code. So that form would actually be altered um, such that it would prompt for username, password, uh, plus OTP. Um, so once that is supplied by the user, uh, the username and password be, would be validated against Active Directory. So that would be step two. And then step three is that th through our plugin, we actually make a call out to the semantic authentication services and validate the username and map that against a token ID and verify that they provided the correct uh, one time passwords. And once they've done that, um, we provide the, and we, we receive authentication responses both from the first factor and the second factor. Um, the ADFS will produce a SAML response and send that over to the relying party. And the way that SAML response works is it could be pulling an attribute um, out of Active Directory and based on that attribute um, passed over successfully to the relying party, they would either accept or deny an authentication from, uh, from this uh, SAML, SAML query. Okay, that's a quick wrap up. Let me go ahead and walk through a user experience walking through the flow. So a user would be presented with a form which has been altered to request username, password, and OTP. Um, and that would be provided and sent over to the ADFS uh, on the IIS web server. Username and password would be sent to uh, Active Directory uh, to validate first factor. And then username and OTP would be sent up to the semantic authentication services. And username would be mapped to a token ID so we could look up and validate the one-time password. And then based on authentication responses both from the Active Directory and semantic authentication services, um, ADFS would provide a SAML response to our aligned party, in our case, salesforce.com. And based on that SAML response, the user would be either accepted or uh, denied access uh, to, their, uh, to the application. So this is a quick integration that I, diagram that I've drawn. For more details, uh, you can go to our full integration uh, guide um, for ADFS um, uh, for doing this implementation. And we'd also appreciate your feedback or comments uh, on this, uh, on this uh, service. Thank you.